And now we bring you the interview with the Miss India USA 2001, Stacy Isaac. <laughs> In a glittering function organized by the New York-based India Festival Committee, Stacy Isaac of Florida was crowned Miss India USA 2001. Stacy, who is 19, is in her second year at the Florida Atlantic University and wants to pursue a career in pediatrics. So let's have a few words with the Miss India USA 2001, Stacy Isaac. Congratulations, Stacy, and welcome to Danuk. First of all, tell us what motivated you to enter this pageant. Actually, this pageant, I was approached by one of the representatives of the Indian Festival Committee, who actually organizes the pageant in New Jersey. When approached, I didn't really know what to say. I didn't know if I should agree with it or if I should accept the offer. So after, with support from family and friends, I took it into consideration, sent my application in, and got a call back for an interview. And my older sister actually um, competed in the 1992 pageant and she placed in top five and ever since then she was somewhat of my inspiration to participate in this pageant. She told me of all the beautiful memories that she has from, that, from the pageant and the wonderful friends she made. Do you think that the presentation of Miss India Worldwide pageant can be compared with any pageant anywhere in the world? Miss India USA pageant is a very conservative pageant. It's an excellent pageant which opens a number of doors to opportunities. You have the opportunity of meeting stars and feeling like a star yourself. And I think it's an excellent choice for young ladies to participate in this pageant. So which was your favorite part in the contest? I actually liked all four segments, but my favorite part of the whole contest was the talent contest. Um, unlike other pageants, the Miss India USA pageant doesn't have a swimsuit competition, and it's more mainly focused on talent. And in the talent segment, I performed a Bharatanatyam dance entitled Rhythm of Life, and it was choreographed to the Deem Tadare from the film Takshak, but it was purely Bharatanatyam. So did you have to work very hard for it? Since it was a last minute decision that to participate in this pageant, I did work hard right before, of the month before the pageant. How many contestants took part in this contest? There was 32 contestants from 28 states and they were all title holders from the state that they represented. So that uh, made you make a lot of friends? Oh yes, and I still keep in touch with each and every contestant. Everyone has always thought that a beauty pageant title opens the doors to stardom. So have you considered entering the Indian cinema if approached? The infamous question. <laughs> um, I did receive a few offers and I declined, but um, right now I really can't say whether winning this title will alter my aspirations of becoming a pediatrician. That has been my biggest dream in life. So I wish to pursue that, and hopefully with this title it will open those doors too. Yeah. So are your preparations, how are your preparations going on for the Miss India Worldwide pageant? which is going to be held in um, San Jose, California? Right, on March 9th, Correct. actually a month away. <laughs> and um, right now, I feel very confident, but I think that may change as soon as the date gets closer. Are you doing anything different? Um, we'll, have, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. It's for a surprise. <laughs> so Stacy, how is this title going to help you in the near future? Like I said before, 
Winning the Miss India USA title has opened a number of doors of opportunity for me. And I feel very strongly about charity work, and that is why it was my, one of my main incentives in participating in this pageant. And with this title, I, I have an open microphone and a strong voice where I can voice my choices and opinions, and I wish to do just that with this title. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> what are the challenges do you think that the Indian American teens are facing today? I think one of the biggest problems that Indian American teens are facing is insecurity and lack of value of our Indian morals and our culture. And I think that's something we really need to work on. And I will be having exten exten sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'll be working extensively on. And do you think parents play an important part? Of course. Without the help and the support, support, blessings, and unconditional love of my parents, I would not be here today as Miss India USA. What are your goals? That is, what are you planning to do as Miss India USA, long term or short term? One of the awards that I received as Miss India USA, I was appointed ambassador of a women's college in India, Mrs. Helena Kaushik College, which is located in Rajasthan, India. When I visit India, a number, a large portion of my charity work will be done there in the college. And I feel strongly about education, and I think that's a number one. It's so very, it's the greatest wealth that one can possess, your education and your knowledge. And that's something I will be working immensely on. And what is your advice to uh, those who want to enter this contest? Advice, let's see. If you do want to enter this Miss India USA pageant, it's an excellent it's an excellent, memorable moment in life, an excellent experience. You get to meet girls from all over the United States, as well as the world, from Miss India Worldwide. Mm -hmm. And they all have the same goals. They are all ambitious, very highly qualified young ladies, very unique and very special in their own way. And I think that is what makes the pageant have a very lasting.